Miami is known for its warm weather and its beautiful beaches, but actually it's also become a very popular destination for contemporary art especially. We have the largest art, contemporary art fair in the world, Art Basel, which happens in December every year. And so that sort of kicks off the art season. We have wonderful performing arts companies like the Miami City Ballet and the New World Symphony, wonderful performing arts venues um, designed by really prestigious art architects. We have creative neighborhoods like the Wynwood Arts District, which is uh, tons of uh, street art all over the place, very vibrant, colorful center. The Miami Design District, uh, and now we're really putting a focus on our cultural neighborhoods like Little Havana, Little Haiti, Historic Overtown, and West Coconut Grove. Pam is in downtown, and it's it, it become the center of the artistic district in the downtown area. And it opened about a year ago. We had a record number of visitors. It was a tremendous response. It was designed by Herzog de Muron, a Swiss architectural firm. And it's as gorgeous inside as it is outside. And sharing a plaza with them and opening in June is the new Science Museum. So you have this cultural center right on the bay, overlooking the port of Miami. It's majestic. And um, and then on the other side of the uh, on the other side of the bridge is the Art Deco district, and I think most people are familiar with that certainly from Miami Vice. And Art Deco, actually, arch architecture has a very special place in our hearts and has been important, starting with Spanish Mediterranean architecture that you see more out in Coconut Grove and Coral Gables, um, the Art Deco district, which has the largest collection of Art Deco in the world. And, and now there's a modern architecture that's going on with, with really prestigious architects like Herzog de Muron, like uh, Zaha Hadid. Um, so I think what people will find very different is that Miami is a very, has become a much more of an urban center. You see a lot of growth in the downtown center, going into Wynwood, going into the design district. So, while there's gorgeous beaches and lots of great weather, you know, when you're done with the beach and you want to have some art and culture, it's there as well. We just announced that there's going to be a major renovation to the Miami Beach Convention Center. That's going to commence right after Art Basel, so right in the middle of December. And it should, most of it should be done by Art Basel of next year. It'll be running throughout the year, so it'll cater to different convention groups and they're building a convention hotel.